Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can build a flexible workflow that will work with different transactions. So all the standard flexible workflows only work for a particular transaction like a purchase order flexible workflow, a PDEC flexible workflow. Now I'll build something that will work for any documents. Okay. So and this will require some workflow template building. OK, so first I'll go to PFTC and this process basically will take care of any workflows, any documents that are having a change. OK, so you suppose it, if there is a change in the document, you want to trigger an email or an approval. OK, you can do it using one single workflow. So how you will do it? First, I went to PFTC transaction code. Then I'll just create one workflow, Z test change. Okay. And I'll click create. And here we will say test change notification. Okay. So we'll just build it for a workflow notification. And I'll just copy this and I'll put it here. Now, here in the container, I will define all the business object that I want to create the workflows for. So the first one I will do is for PO. So I'll just do PO. I'll just copy this. I know for purchase order, I have the business object is bus2012. Okay. Bus2012. Go to properties, import, export. No need to mark mandatory because I'll be using for other business objects. Now the next one I will do probably is for sales order. Okay, so I'll go to buzz two zero one two. I'll just copy this here. No, this one would be buzz two zero three two. It's the business object of sales order. Okay. And I'll go to object type. I'll just put bus to 032. I'll click import export. Okay. And I'll press enter. Now I'm being a little lazy. I'll just copy this and I'll change this to PREC, PR. Okay. So I'll just do PR, whatever it is. And now I'll press enter. So the PR needs to be adjusted. I'll go to data types and that would be 105, I think. See if I'm right. So bus to zero to one zero five. Okay. Now we have done all these things. We'll save it. We'll get a number. Okay. That's my workflow template number. I got this. Now I'll go to the triggering event part. I'll put this one, I'll put two, I'll put three, and here I will put bus two zero one two, bus two zero three two, and bus two one zero five, and all the events are the same changed. Most of the business object will have a changed event, ninety percent of it. Okay, so you can use it. So here you have these entries. All these are done. I'll just now activate. So I'm activating. So I activated this one, activated this one. I'm activating the event linkage. Okay. And the beauty of workflow is nowadays they say machine learning and all those things. It it knows where to bind. So if you see bus two one zero four zero five has been binded with PDEC and all those things. So all the object oriented machine learning piece that is being a wow wow factor now. This was there probably 15, 20 years ago also. Okay, in the workflow engine. Now I go to workflow builder. So we have done. Now what we'll do is probably we'll create a send mail task. So here, if you see, 
these are the three that are getting triggered. Now what we are going to do is I go here, I right click and I click create. Lots of times when you click create, you don't get a pop up like this. Okay. So in those cases, what we have to do, you select this and here you can double click on this send email and that will do. Okay. So this is something that I've seen. I think probably it's a GUI issue or something. Now here I'll put the following things, the document. Okay. And I'll put this. Uh, I'll say this. Okay. And uh, I can say this one also. P -rec. Uh, so P -rec number. And here also I will say this is document number. And I'll put has been changed. I and I can say workflow initiator. Okay, I'll just give a name. The same thing. I'll just copy here, and you can add more information. This is just a POC. Okay, and here I'll just click the green arrow. And we'll just give a name, see test email one, test notification email. Now I'll click the green arrow. Now I'll click save. Now, now this is done. Activate. Okay. So this has been activated. Now what we are going to do is we are going to find some. So let's go with sales order, purchase order. Okay. So let me go here. ME22N, right? Everyone knows. Purchase order. Okay. And here, suppose I will change the description. G -g -g -g. And I click save. Okay. This is not a good one. Let me, this purchase order has problems. Let's find a good one. I think 3, 9. Uh, no. And if I go here, I'll just put JJ. Suppose I'll save it. So it's saving. Once this gets saved. We can find it out whether the notification goes on. Well, it's taking some time. Let's see. Okay. Here it comes. So I click save. And again, the speed, it depends upon uh, the network. Okay. And now here, if I now go, workflow, workflow overview, and if you see, so this one is the one that we created, test change notification. And from here, you can see that the workflow just triggered and it has, has been changed by this person. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'll go sales or the purchase order has been done. Sales order. I will go now. V02. Okay. I have this one. Okay. Sales order. This is being processed. Let's see. I'll pick another one, the next one. And suppose I want to change something. Okay. Ramp fridge frozen. I'll just put frozen also here. And I click save now. Okay. It's complaining. I'll just hit enter. In SAP, if it's a warning, what you do? You just go on and hit enter. Now, what I'll do is I'll just go here again. So lots of times what happens is this GOS generic object service doesn't show up. So in those cases, what you have to do is you have to go to this transaction SU3 in your business object in your parameter 
and make sure you put this parameter in this sales order okay this is very important you put this parameter id in market x and save it and then only it will show up so i have done that now i go here workflow if i go to workflow overview let's see whether it's triggered anything yes it has triggered if you notice the document this has been changed by this so this has been triggered now let's see so this was sales order i haven't tried the uh, uh, prereq but we will see i go to me52n so if i go to me52n this one is not a good example because it has been deleted the lines this one looks good okay so if you notice i'll just change this i'll save it okay please check the debate is in the past okay i need to change the date probably somewhere uh, where is the date here okay tell me the address uh, do I have the date somewhere? Status, contact. Okay, quantity state. Sorry, my bad. So I'll just put this probably 24. Let's see whether that does the trick. This should be because this, this is example. Realistic date. Release date would be. 115 2021 115 see control s before it is okay so this is also not a good example let me go find something really nice five nope and if i go here I hope the date will not mess my testing. Okay, so the state is coming still. Okay, but you know, if you change it, you don't have problems with the PREC, then it should work. Okay, so this should also trigger the workflow. Okay, but in this way, you can add other business objects that you want a notification this is just a poc inside the workflow you can have different design and based on that you can create a single workflow which is a really flexible workflow across different business process business documents